Parker, who did not have a great time against Nexus Falco. And I actually argue with this a lot of people. All three links in general actually suffer to the Falco matchup. It is not a fun matchup for them. And it's just the fact that Falco's forward air and his combo game, uh, complemented with his reflector, makes it really rough for all three links to actually get in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're, you're just going to have that quick reflector. Marvelous Marco on the two link. I mean, I, I feel like most players would uh, agree that this is the not so strong link, but I mean, I, I think the two link is generally underrated. Marvelous Marco has been on the grind ever since Smash 4, man. So definitely respect that. And here he is, loser semis. He's got quite the run here. Oh, I love the double hit cross up there on block. Oh, what a confirm right back here into forward tilt too. See how Larry was going to be around there. Forward tilt sends at a very good angle. It's a very solid move. Larry trying to go for the Nair. Edge guard here. Marvelous Marco has the bomb in hand. Tries to defuse the situation here, but now tossing it back and forth between both players. Okay, gets to confirm off of it though. Oh, oh. We tried to get the sour Nair into the flash, but didn't get the tumble quite just yet. Nice. Good on Larry. Coming back a little bit aggressively with that neutral air, but also avoiding the boomerang at the same time. Marco had a lot of stuff okay. there. Oh, okay. Forward tilt. Since, like, forward tilt ha has a surprisingly great hitbox above it, and the angle it sends is, again, I just want to point out, it's really good. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Don't corner pressure me. I'll fight back. <laughs> I'm swinging. This is up smash? Yeah. What a great catch there from Larry. Down air has a lot of commitment for your two link. Yeah, too late. I mean, just links in general, you're, you're going to have a lot of, a decent amount of jug anti-juggle mix just because you can pull the bomb. If you have enough time to pull a bomb, throw it down, right? Something they have to respect. The wall jump into the bomb throw here. Marvelous Marco getting a reversal and taking on quite a bit of damage here. Larry just can't seem to catch the two link right now. Okay. Larry using that blast just to slowly force Marvelous Ooh! Marco for a deep and recovery. No Boom way! Right there. Oh, gonna swag on him? Oh, I respect the dare, Marvelous Marco. Even though you died for it, I respect that dare. All right, Marco looking for the landing. I like that from Larry coming with a little bit of a dash attack just to try to get in on Marco. That this is, is gonna death? be, yeah, that's death. That is a, one of the really uh, nice things. It's probably the biggest thing that like kind of sets Toon Link apart, in my opinion, is the fact that the up is like so big. It's a kill move, right? Yeah. Really powerful on the ledge. You can catch ledge rolls. You can pretty much cover every single ledge option except get up attack and hang on ledge. Yeah. Normal get up, it'll catch, it'll catch jump, and it'll catch roll. And even then, the way that Marco looks to pressure his opponent is to make sure that get up attack is not going to be one of the things you possibly see. Right. And you can do it out of shield, too. So you can sit there and shield and just wait, react, yeah. you know? So We have seen Larry come a little bit aggressive from the ledge, and Marvelous Marco oh, tries to make an attempt at that up, but that's yeah. such a rough angle. That sucks, too, because Marco threw the bomb up. If Maybe if he held onto it and then went for the up B, you know, that, that, that bomb is kind of like a contingency plan kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. It's either going to give you a second up B or you can use it against Larry at that point. Ooh, okay, Bear. Oh, so close there. Larry able to squeeze out the air dodge. But, man, Marvelous Marco's combo game, I got to say, very impressive on the two link. Yeah, this time keeping the bomb, hanging with the tether. Okay, that attack does connect. Larry is racking up that wolf damage. Marvis Marco, it, he had an entire stock lead here. Tries to get the Z drop out of shield, but a little too slow there. I still like the play, though. Able to force Larry out the shield. The Marco able to get a little bit of control here. Larry back on the stage. Look oh, at this. Oh, what a great play from the Z drop into the down air. Marvelous Marco is looking for one of Larry's landings. Able to catch up with it. Okay. Okay, Larry gets the forward tilt offstage scenario. The blaster connects as well, pushing him farther back. The oh, Nair, no, he, still got he has a bomb. Yeah, he, he has, has the wall jump. Bomb, we need you. Oh, and barely able to make it back. Marco striking as soon as he gets out. The bomb was going to be the thing. Back oh, throw? Oh, oh, neutral air. Oh, you oh, went for no. it. No, you, you went for that there. Marvelous Marco was playing so solid that entire time. And, like, we've seen that there work out. Yeah. But I think just in that last stock scenario where you have to be super safe, so Marvis Marco was underneath Larry. Larry was just waiting for him to maybe try to overextend or anything like that. Marvis Marco had a bomb too. You, in that point, you can kind of like use the threat of your bomb, maybe just like kind of drift to the platform, right? Exactly. You know, Larry can have has burst options available to him, like you know, like dash under, up tilt, or an up air. 
So maybe Marvis Markle kind of thought Larry was going to go into that striking stance, which yeah. is why he went for the down air. And I commend him for it, too. With the way that bomb can work for Tulin in that situation, I understand, but that was too much commitment, especially when you were at the ledge. Yeah. Uh, Marvelous Markle, though, you know what? He was able. It's, it was a close game, but he, he was able to adapt, and we'll see if that full adaptation will be something to be what able to What the? Oh. Dude, this floor tilt's crazy. It just oh, yeah. hit behind him. It hits behind him? It hits is above like, him? Is that his best move? Like, does he just hit all around him? Oh. It's, it's one of Marco's moves, for Please. sure. Oh, wow, okay, okay. the left oh, step no. in the air. Okay. Marco with the bait there. Nice. Able to use that up B. The bomb will still be there for the reset in case of emergency. Bro, this F tilt. I just wanted to see it again. That moves so good. It's, it's like a, like you said, kind of hits above him too, like an anti-air. It, it's one of Marco's favorite moves, just because of how good it is at the ledge. All three, young, all three links have a really excellent forward tilt. True, true. Yeah, it just feels like two links is just like really quick, and I, I really love the angle that it sends as well. Yeah, in, in my opinion, two link is one of the underrated of the three. Not oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It, it's hard to say which one's the best. They're all pretty damn solid, you yeah. know what I mean? They all have their strengths and weaknesses in the meta. Okay, what a great play on that tech chase. Before it tilt, the blaster to force Marco on that low recovery, but that Nair is not yeah. going to be enough the bomb to stop Larry. I think Larry was expecting maybe like a swing, but not a Z-drop bomb. Marco actually uh, did a really subtle uh, Z-drop there. So nice on his part. Earlier, Marco also got hit by the forward throw tech chase as well. Um, when you're at that percent, you, you want to DI up so you don't get the tech chase. And so, you know, Wolf can't cover your options with like a boosted forward tilt. And there it is, the up tilt. Very great move for Wolf. Oh, caught in the middle of dash attack. This is solid for Larry here. You're able to carry this man across the other side of the stage. Let him show him, show him where the villagers are definitely living, Larry, because you know you need to make this comeback. Yeah, I mean, we. this was an exact same scenario as last time. Marco was up an entire stock here. He just has to play solid, close it out. But Larry coming in with the fundamentals. Oh, man. Let's oh. drop double jump. Mm, you want to play to stop that tether. You just don't want to be in disadvantage. And this is, I, I feel like, uh, you know, using these external resources like double jump in those disadvantaged states, it's very risky. You get hit off the ledge after you ledge drop double jump, you're not going to have fun off stage. Larry making that very clear. And now evening up stock wise, but Marco still with the uh, percentage advantage, but for how long? Oh, double dash attack, not going to be the hit here. Marco able to fight back with this down there. Forward to yet again. This is the MVP move for Marvelous nice. Marco and the spin attack to do it. One, what a piece. I love the setup there. The Z drop there to mm -hmm. catch the, uh, to, to try and just cover the ledge. You know, the, the bomb into there would combo exactly. into the spike. And then he goes immediately into the up B. Obviously, there has a little bit of lag, but the up B came quick enough to catch that ledge jump there. Larry thought he had time to jump up and over, get back on stage. Marco capitalizing on that. Now we're 1 1 apiece. It goes, it goes without saying, man. The more your opponent has to work for to come back on the stage, the better it is for you. Because they start to get exhausted, and there's only so many resources they have with a character like Wolf in, in general. You know, you're outside the up beat. And even then, Wolf is kind of a glass cannon when it comes to those recovery heights. Yeah, absolutely. So Marco has had a bunch of clutch edge guards here. Let's see if he can continue it going. Oh, what a smart what? play to Z-drop. And because at worst, it'll still hit Wolf in the middle of the Wolf Flash, but if he went for Wolf Fire, it was still also going to contest that as well. That was a great play for Marco altogether. Up there to kind of sense the jump, too. Marco is definitely playing with a lot of adaptation, but also knowing how Larry is going to try to make a recovery afterwards. There, wow, so many, like, scramble trade situations, but the up smash out of shield. Marco stretching a little too far with that dash attack. Larry going to capitalize, and now Larry is the one with the lead here in this game number three. Okay, nice. Gonna go right into another dash, dash attack. attack. Tech chase. Nice! What a great patience, too. And that pays off ultimately well for Larry. Putting oh. Marco off the stage from Marco coming in with this hot down air. Back air is not gonna be enough. Marco trying to set up the boomerang, but Larry with the hard drift in. He's trying to get the back air to seal the deal. This max rage is locked and loaded. Okay, okay. the punt. Drop zone there or Nair, okay. Nice. He aims a little bit higher to kind of avoid that opportunity from Larry, but dash oh. attack, yeah, 3-1 here, Larry. Larry is, is getting maximum value out of this rage, man. Oh, yeah. Well, no, that would be it. Okay, I was going to say, done. yeah, done. the back, back throw would definitely clear that out. Oh, man, maximum value for Larry. Just oh. controlling the ledge here. That almost reversal with the upbeat. It can drag out Wolf forward off the stage, which could be really good for Marvelous Marco. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, off the what, forward tilt into the crowd. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was like forward tilt hit behind into grab. Wow. I mean, marvelous this Marco is, so is Mar marvelous Marco is very much looking for to have a really good night like Nexus too. How's this sick? I'm learning a bunch of Toon Link stuff, man. Oh, oh what a okay. Cut. Okay, I see you, I see okay, you. Okay, and he looks at the crowd, too. You know right. Marvelous Marco was going to feel himself, too. We got we got the tricks. Marvelous Marco got the tricks on deck, and you're going to have to dig deep in that bag of tricks to get this set from Larry because he's still got the lead. He still has the edge guard ready here. The two frame does not oh. connect. No double jump, but the instant tether. Going to grab. Yeah, good on Marco to not really phase himself out there in that situation. At worst, you will get grabbed, and you still get to replay the ledge. You're not going to lose a stock for over trying to commit. I like the tether stall there from Marco, just taking some time, oh. but the slash is enough. Larry is going to take that game. Yeah, Marco is still in stage disadvantage there, so ultimately Larry just has to root out one of his options from the ledge and punish accordingly. This is loser semis, so this yeah. is guaranteed fourth for whoever, I mean, whoever loses here gets fourth. So we'll see if Marvelous Marco can get to this game number five, but he's got to go through game number four first. I mean, I don't really see any of these players switching any character, so we'll probably see a Toon Link Wolf no matter what for the rest of the set. Yeah, Larry up 2-1 against Marvelous Marco. He's taking a little bit of a deep breath there. Just because he knows, man, if he can get this win over Larry, he will be looking also pretty kind. Just like what a great MSM run. Oh yeah, absolutely. So many players in the SoCal scene on the come up here, the up air up tilt. No, with the reset, Larry almost getting that dash attack. The wolf, nice. I still commend Larry for going for another one. Wow, got him. He just started the charging down smash animation and Larry jumped right into it. I, I had no idea what move he was charging, <laughs> to be fair. So I definitely got hit there. All right, Larry looking for that prime positioning here to react immediately out as soon as Marco gets up from ledge. Larry play here, stopping out Marco from the ledge once again. And I like that. Larry's positioning here at the ledge has been really smart. Also accounting for a lot of Marco's tricks as well. Missed grab here, but Marco gets a little bit of time to come back. Up tilt to the neutral air, no second there here, and that's going to be a good punish from Larry, sensing out that end lag. Yeah, Larry's been getting a lot of uh, KOs from the, uh, you know, the up smash out of shield. Uh, I, I don't think necessarily Marco's playing too aggressive. You got to have that mix, obviously, but it's more so uh, just really good. Larry masking his intent, bringing out the shield at the very last moment. Oh, I like the idea there. Just maybe um, have to go with the uh, dash grab instead of the standing grab. Forward smash, though, sending Larry off stage. Okay. Like this one. Hey, I like that. Does it commit too much? Holds yet again that really good space there at the ledge. Oh my god. Looking to see how Marvelous Marco is going to look and make a play. Nair, that's forcing Marvelous Marco to reset himself at the ledge. Bomb timer has been gone. Oh, finding frames of up smash, too. Okay. Looking like the down smash there. Marvelous Marco keeping it close here in terms of stocks, but you. Whoa. No, you got a second okay, bomb. Okay, He'll okay. recover. He'll recover. Okay, I mean. It's a little scary because usually you've seen Marvelous Marco go for the tether grab to make that under. Right, right. Get a, get a little bit of momentum there. It's just, I mean, you do take a little bit of chip damage from the bombs. It doesn't matter too much unless, oh my goodness, that could have, that little bit of damage almost mattered there. <laughs> nice from oh, oh, I like that. You don't get the punish on that. I'm, maybe Marco thought that uh, he's going to get the cross up there. Nonetheless, finally tacking on a little bit of damage, but too little, too late. 151% on Marvelous Marco. I know, I was smashing Larry. Marvelous Marco Ooh. with a great play here to put Larry off the stage. What a coverage Ooh. there. What the Z-Zop bomb. Are we done? We're, We're not, not done. We're not done, man. Larry. We're not done. Go off there and down here. No, I'm just kidding. It's tournament. It's tournament. <laughs> chill, chill, yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. It, it ain't the highlight reel just yet, man. See, it wouldn't have mattered. Should have done. He should have gone for the dare. <laughs> Risky for the biscuit, as they say, man. Yeah. Risky for the biscuit. All right, so one stock apiece, 0%. You don't get any closer than this. Let's see if Marvelous Marco can push Larry into a game five situation here. Who will go on to fight Nexus waiting in that loser's finals bracket? Oh, Larry Ooh. definitely wanted to go there now with that forward air down there. Attempt. All right, Larry, ledge control yet again. We know how good Larry has been here this entire time, giving, able to just dish out so much damage against Marvelous Marco just from being at the ledge. I love him. Uh, Marco will actually like set up the boomerang, set up the bombs uh, with the double jump. Oh, just to that? have a bunch of uh, projectiles covering high, catching the double jump here. The traps, oh, almost. Dang, he missed it by just a little bit there, but I love the, uh, I love the idea for Marco. 
Nice. Dash back here to get this grab in there. He goes with the down throw, sitting at Marco at the angle. Stage control with a lot of holds. Did you get your jump back? Yeah. I like that up B and just getting the bomb pool the instant. Tether real, but Larry again with the four to end this. Oh, this Chip is damage from the blaster. Yeah, do it. Oh my goodness. It's good too. It's just the fact that he forced the Marco to go for that low recovery. Right. At that point, Larry can just pretty much, you know, clean your hands. It's done. I got the 3-1 over Marvel's Marco. Damn, and those, I really want to point out that the only reason why he could get that there is because he hit two blasters. So the blaster not only tacks on damage, but it pushes you back a decent amount, and he, he hit t two of them. Mm -hmm. To the point where Marco only had like one path he could take to the ledge because there was no double jump, yeah. and at that point the dare was a layup. So really great stuff coming out from Larry, but honestly, man, Marco, that, that tooling was looking real clean. We saw a lot of cool conversions, a lot of cool edge guards. Marco a little on the flashy side, honestly, with that Toon Link. Yeah, him and Kairos are two players that constantly train with each other, but also play against each other and go to the same locals. So they do learn a thing or two from both of their characters, respectively. I know they always are in talks and having conversations with the characters' metas, but also trying to experiment with what character can do, and if the same character can do the same, too. He knows if, right. if Young Link can do this, can Toon Link do the same? And I love that about them, too. They've been one of two of SoCal's like greatest up-and-comers since... Even before quarantine, too, that was like the one thing. Like, they were definitely two players who just needed a really good season. And I think for sure, Marvelous Marco, despite.